Welcome to part 3 of Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth. In this episode, we're going to be going over to the guild. And if you look at the bottom of the top right hand corner of the screen, as in the last share, you'll see others is dangerously high. That needs to be zero by the time you reach chapter 8. For good reason, you'll be screwed out of the 100% ending. But whatever the case, <clears throat> we'll have to allocate the shares between the four countries. So that way, uh, they'll have at least 20% or more by the time the game is over with. And we'll still have to allocate the shares again in order for to get the plans for Netgear and Ramen Ram to be unlocked. Aside from actually going into the uh, areas where the monsters have the special items for their plans is. It's a lot of work and we'll have to wait till at least chapter 7 in order for us to do that. <clears throat> also, I want to make this a, a simple point. I said the grind was real in this game. I wasn't kidding. This is where you're going to get your money because these quests actually give you credits for every time you do them. Depending on the, the level of the quest, ranking from E all the, way, all the way up to S, you'll get a certain amount of money. You can repeatedly do these quests over and over again to not only grind up items but also money. Specifically items that you need in order for you to make something in the remake system. So yeah, it actually works out that way. But here's the thing that is the problem. Some of these quests you will have to wait until late in the game. Others, I do believe you will end up having to give others um, shares as opposed to the Lands of Last Station, Louis, Lean Box, and Planet Tune. Well, that the only time you actually pick those kind of quests is if you want to, how should I put it, make it to where you'll be able to get uh, one or all of the plants if you have the megabytes. As you see at the top right hand corner of the, okay, if you see the top above all those plants, the megabytes is at 365. For each CPU, I need a I need like uh 2104 if I'm not mistaken 2112 I think yeah 2112 that's what I need for those CPU candidates not to mention I need special items from their respective dungeons and again I'm not going to be able to deal with that until chapter 7 and also, there was a little note from Miss Manual. Now, in order to proceed with the game, there is a specific quest that is called Law of the Hero. We need to find that quest to proceed. But, I'm not going to deal with that until chapter... I mean, part four. Sorry, not chapter four. What am I saying? I can't get out of chapter four. I can't get to chapter four if I can't get out of chapter one. Sorry, I said that wrong. And by the way, there are certain quests that you actually can complete if you constantly beat up the enemy. <sighs> now, as I was stating, there is a reason why I said the grind is real when it comes down to this game. Sometimes when you beat the enemy with the respective item you need for that quest, they don't appear. So on that note, <sighs> I went there and turned in those quests earlier, so I can gain up some uh, level with Last Station at least, or I accidentally gain up some level with Louis. So uh, I need to go over to, I do believe, Zeka Ruins or Mechantra Force? Let me see who, where am I going to be going? It's going to be going, oh wait, we're going to have to go to Zeka Ruins. Yes, yeah, Zeka Ruins is where that uh, quest that I have just picked up is. And this is a good way to show off the new enemies that happen to be in Zeka Ruins. By the way, if I'm not mistaken, Zeka Ruins may have a, uh, make enemies stronger, and I think I don't have that unlocked just yet. I know for a fact that by the end of the game, I will unlock just about 
all of the uh, strong enemy dungeon plans. And I'll show off the weaker version of the dungeon and the stronger version. But in here, we have uh, Shampoo. And what we're looking for are buff, magical, and normal, basically. The magical Shampoo, or the Shampoo that will give buffs to the uh, ally. The normal Shampoo, I think they are the ones that are going to give buffs and defense. Whereas, I think the... Buff Shampoo will give buffs in technique and agility, and there's uh, the Dangerous Shampoo, which will give all of the above to itself. Yeah, we found ourselves uh, having to fight off all of these Shampoo. I mean, they may look the same, but they're pretty much not. And that's the other thing about this uh, quest. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of things I know, but most of the time the enemy placement is random. So when you're doing quests, you got to make sure that this is the right party. I mean, at the beginning of the game, you won't have a chance to escape, but you'll be able to fight. And if you're at a low level and you come here, well, fighting won't be that much of an option now, will it? You'll be practically fighting some high-level monsters by the time you come here. I mean, the Shampoo doesn't really give out much experience points, to say the least. But, uh, if you do reach level 20, or at least level 30, later on, there will be a time where you're gonna have to go to the, uh... Metro Factory in order for you to level up all of your characters. I had to think about that for a second because, yeah, at the time of this recording, I recently came home from work. Oh boy. So, <clears throat> if you probably haven't noticed, also, Lucky. and this should come to a surprise, most of my commentaries are going to be dealt with with this new microphone. Yeah, that's right. New microphone, folks, with a pop filter. Yeah, RV Man's moving on up in the world. It may sound a little bit different, but hey, at least for the most part, it doesn't have that buzzing noise in the background. So on that note, we're just going to beat up the dangerous shampoo that stands in our way. And this is the boss of the stage, the Dangerous Shampoo. Time for your you don't have to worry about him if you're at a high level. At a low level, yeah, that Shampoo will kick your butt. You don't have to be at level 30 to beat it. But that's the reason we're coming here. Not to mention voice actors here, but also there is a um, item not too far from here. Uh, yeah, a hidden item, as a matter of fact. So it will be in your best interest to find the hidden items that are here in every cave you find. I mean, you can try to avoid uh, conflict. I mean, it's not going to get you any stronger, but sometimes it's the best way for you to actually get the items. It's by simply avoiding the enemies and waiting until they're out of your sight. Or you're out of their sight, one of the two. So... With all these enemies we just killed, we are just going to go over and we're going to pick up this Whoa, healing this? potion, or healing pod, and we'll just ransack the rest of this area. We don't have anything else to do, to do here, we just beat the boss, so yeah, I'm going to take an eject button, which by the way, you can't buy until you get the plan for, and we're going to go back to the guild well eventually we'll show off the shop now the shop if you happen to have plans that have been completed those weapons will show up here the problem with the dlc characters and also the uh cpu candidates they hurt you in the pockets oh that oh i'm just seeing that credit number 
Oh, that hurts. It, it hurts so much. Damn, the pockets, my friends. The pockets. It's ridiculous. I mean, there's just no reason why the credits would be that high for characters that you had to fight to unlock or pay to unlock. It's ridiculous. And unlike Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 3 or Victory, you can't just get a million cre- Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> but as I was saying before I rudely belched, excuse me on that, you can't just get that free. And by the way, also, there are all there are CPU parts that some uh, CPUs, like the CPU candidate square, others, they can't. And unfortunately, I can't buy those either, because they are pretty damn expensive. And I am hurting, hurting in the funds department right now, because, yeah, I bought one of Uni's weapons, and, well, it hurt me in the pockets. Nonetheless, we're going to actually do that quest and probably continue on with the story in Part 4. This is RVMan985. See you guys next week for the winner of this of the contest, I guess. Also, we're going to actually explore further into the part. But yeah, what I meant to say was, later on in the week, I'll reveal the winner of the contest that I've been having for the last two months. So on that note, look forward to that Thursday. See you guys next time.